really interested in the, the gangsters and outlaws of the 20s and 30s. And it always kind of uh, bugs me when people call Dillinger a, a gangster. To me, he was an outlaw. He was more Jesse James than Al Capone. Exactly. Can you talk about sort of Dillinger's relationship with organized crime and kind of what they thought of him and the danger he posed? Oh, yeah. Organized crime is not right. Organized crime found him a, 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 a kind of wild card and potentially very dangerous to their operation, you know. Dillinger was out there, you know, uh, uh, owning it and, uh, and kind of flying by the seat of his pants, if you will. And, and uh, yeah, he was not—he was not liked in, the, in those uh, in those uh, arenas. I, 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 ex I see exactly that. He—he he was much more like a, an old school. Well, he, he, his hero was Jesse James. You know, he used to read Jesse James comic books when he was a kid. Um, he was an outlaw. He was a old school kind of common man um, st standing up for his rights sort of guy. You know? So how, how aware do you think he was of sort of his own persona and, and even sort of the legacy he was going to leave behind? I think he was a sharp guy in every way. I think that's to say like I, I believe that he was aware of his um, he was aware of his effect or his power on the people, but he was also aware of the, the, the people's power on him. And, and I think he made, uh, also I think he, he knew that the clock was ticking and there was only going to be a certain amount of time before it was up, you know, it was up. And um, he kind of made peace with that as well. He was all right with it. Now, Michael Mann is known for his very, you know, almost slavish attention to detail. I'm just curious, whether it's working with a director like Mann or any director, is there a point where, like, too much information can be too much for an actor, or is, there, or is it always a good thing? You, you, you say, I mean, I mean, any kind of information is always a good thing, but, I mean, at a certain point, yeah, uh, you've got to be able to take everything in and then chuck it out the window, you know, throw it all away, because you're going to get in the ring and there's going to be the possibility of chance. There's going to be... Yeah, God knows what might happen during the scene. The bottom might fall out, and you got to find a new way through. And that's that's those that, that's where magic um, okay. is born. You know? They're wrapping me up, but I got to ask you. I was bummed to hear that Lone Ranger's kind of been pushed back. Is is that still going to happen? And well, I think it's still going to happen. It's just a question of you know, let's you know, you got to get the the script's got to be it's just got to be perfect, you know. But I I, I got a good feeling, and you know? I think it's going to be.